Hello and welcome back to ChiefTutor.com training videos for Chief Architect version 10. In this video we'll be discussing all the little cool tricks we can do with windows and some of the most prominent things that people like to do with the Chief Architect windows is try to create a pass through on the inside of a house. So here I have a house where I have an inside wall. There's that door that you were looking at and there's a window. And let's say we want to make a pass through in this wall. So what we want to do is go up to the window and we can click on the interior wall with the left mouse button and you'll notice this air that pops up and says hey you're trying to create a, a window an interior wall do you want to do this say yes okay and it places the window in now if I were to click on this window I grab it right away now let's say I take it to fix glass and notice I can still click on it and that and it grabs the window for me each time. If I wanted to click on this doorway and I click, I don't get the door. See, it misses it. I have to click on its actual casing to get the door frame. So we know there's actually nothing in that doorway. There's something in here because obviously I can select it. So we want to remove the glass and the frame and trim around. So I'm going to double click this. I'm going to go to the sash and frame and under the side satch width change it to zero and it removes the glass then go down here and remove the frame width as well so make that zero and I can take one last step and remove the trim molding but let's do that next so here we're gonna click OK and now we have a window pass through and notice I cannot select the glass so I have to select the trim now if I open up the trim and in the casing suppress it on both interior and exterior and remove the sills. So now there's absolutely nothing there but the pass through. You'll notice now I can't select anything because I can't even get to anything. It's just created the pass through. So the only way to do this now is to leave that window there and in plan view edit the window. But that's the simple and easiest way, and it makes a perfect pass through. There's also another cool little option for windows, and that is when it comes to roofs. Now I'm going to go ahead and build a roof on my house here. And let's say I wanted a gable entrance over this window or and this door. Well, I can do that relatively quickly by clicking on the window, and this tool pops up, gable over door or window. And when you click on it, it creates that line over the window. So let's go ahead and click here and click there and we'll notice the line that it gave us. Now this is a gable line and the gable line is telling the computer when you generate the roof again put a gable over these two ends. So I'm going to go back to the roof tab, double click it, click here build roof planes and click OK and it built two gable ends. And you'll notice exactly where it puts it so it cut it in it excuse me it uh, intersects right here at the edge of where you put that line so for instance if i was to take this line and say bring it down to here and again rebuild the roofs it makes it bigger for me and again let's take a look at the effect it's giving us which is great simple and easy to do obviously you wouldn't want to put uh, gable over this end because there's already a roof going up so there's no way for it to you know feed a gable and notice the gable option is even gone it doesn't even allow you to do that but what's great too about this is you can now grab it and simply manipulate the roof and make it so it's easy to build a nice entrance into the house putting down posts or columns or whatnot and so that's been messing with the windows here at chieftutor.com thanks so much for joining